Oh, it doesn't want to show that now. Oh, here we got Back in. Ooh, it wants to get it to be out of here, but yeah, it was pretty much a total. Ah, uh, he's jumped on the floor again. Oh, there's a ring on here. Oh, there we go. Back in the hole. Okay, let's try again. Ah. He doesn't want to play ball at the moment. He's just a bit scared. No idea that I am another being and he's getting a bit frantic. Can you see? Right there. So I think he is there. Yeah. Now these guys, when they're actually in their webs, they um they usually set up a web horizontal with the ground and um, they then sit in the web a little hide out or hole or a little web off to the side and then they wait for some flying bug to fly through and sort of fly into the web which they hope for and they run into the web as quick as they can and very fast and they actually bite through the web and sting the fly or whatever, cicada, whatever it catches. Um, and then it then slowly dies. <laughs> and then it just takes it back into its hideout and eats it, basically. So, you know, it's it there. It's, it's alright the size, you know. But these are the really jittery ones. Fast, you can see they're quite lanky. Oopsie, they're quite lanky there. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm pretty good with spiders. I don't usually get bitten. I've only been bitten about it twice. So, and that was when I was about eight. So, yeah, it doesn't really count. Um, I really learnt when I got bitten by a slater spider. It was a red one. It had a missing leg and it was pretty, pretty annoyed. I picked it up, as inexperienced as I was, and got bitten 
and I quickly pulled back my hand, and luckily I didn't get stung. Yeah, that made me really think, be careful not to get stung by one again. Um, don't really want to get stung by this. Apart from the other two, right? There's no sting involved. <laughs> That's the one. New Zealand sheep red sky. Alright. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Okay. Yeah.